Hello, Bob Brockway again. It's December the 8th, 2010. We got a videotaping a, another Ion engine. Totally different from all the previous ones that I videoed. This is uh, an entirely different design. The cone here, oh, this part, there's, it's just aerodynamics. It's just to give me a little, little aerodynamics. This is the pulse generator, this unit here, the larger unit. And this is support. These are the ion emitters here. There's two of them. A positive one, the positive one happens to be on top, it doesn't matter. And the bottom one, this is a negative emitter. Using a, the same type of ground that I used on the others. It's a fairly hefty unit, but it's not bad. Weighs in around 60 grams. And I've got that counterbalance on the other side here. As you can see and we're going to turn it on and see what it does if we have a real low humidity 38% because it's a forced air heating system and it really dries the air and this is winter time and we've really been in a cold period now for about 10 days it's only about 20 degrees outside at the moment. We've, but that's just to fill you in a little details of this environment that it's going to be surrounding it. We're going to turn it on here and see what it does. Take it a little while to get rolling, but I ran it yesterday and I really uh, I got it to rotate to up to almost well just 37.7 inches a second. So we'll see if we can get up that high, which comes out to about one and a half revolutions. It comes out to about 40 RPM mathematically. But it's uh, moving on its own, starts on its own. Now, the reason I mention the humidity and all of that <coughs> particulars, it's uh, because the humidity does affect the performance of all this ion stuff. But the ion emitters, you can see how small they are, but you can see if you reviewed the other videos of the other type of ion emitters. These are very small. This is a des my own design. Everything here is of my own design construction. But they're very, uh, it's compact and they really put out quite a bit of thrust con considering their size. You can see it turns every bit as fast as the cone shape but much smaller con concentrated area around the emitters themselves. Now if you see this in the dark there is quite a class 2 discharge on the emitters that extend about an inch visibly an inch beyond the end of the emitter. 
And in the drier air, you've got to be very careful. You, it, it wants, there again, getting the power from the generator to here without, without causing any type of class 1, class 2, or class 3 jet discharges. Real difficult. But I've been working on that, and I, right at the moment, things are quite good. But you can see that it's still picking up speed. And it, it, it will continue to. Let's just check it and make sure that cam is functioning normally, which it seems to be, which it says it is. So, it's uh, <coughs> less than two seconds of revolution right now in this short of running time, which is really good. I'm not sure if the baromic pressure affects the operation, but it's running about a 30.2 baromic pressure, which is on the high side. Only time I felt that the barometer affected the operation was when the barometer was in extreme either extremely high or extremely low pressure. As a rule, I don't pay much attention to it because even if it's 29.8 or 30.3, it doesn't seem to very... The effect, as far as I can tell, is does not exist, though there may be some. see it does quite well. Almost. I, I don't know if it's up to 40 RPM or not exactly. It's a timed out thing. It's very close to 36 inches a second. Now one half turn is 26 inches a second. Now there's some decimal. There's some numbers on the right side of the decimal, but for all, I'm rounding them off to full seconds. So and that measurements are going to around them all. But it's as high as I've ever gotten any ion engine to run. The best I've ever done on any style ion engine that I've ever tested out run on this rotating this 38 inches per second. And I'm almost, this one falls right into that range. It can. It has the capability. I was quite impressed. But 38% humidity is very low, even for around here. Though it can, and I have seen it go down as, to the low 30% area. It does do quite well. It, 
It's about the same speed as yesterday. The only reason I pause because I'm trying to time it out. Yeah, it, it, it's running. It's, I'm gonna, it's running a solid 40. I would say solid, probably even a little faster, but I'm going to give it a 40 RPM, which comes out to about 38 inches a second on velocity. And it'll maintain that. giving all the that's not bad at all yeah this is a whole new design that I developed I knew about this type of emitter I never tried it on a ion engine but I, I knew these little gun barrels if you want to call it or ion guns are barrel tight, they're small, but I ran in, I discovered that, uh, that's an interesting story all by itself, but they work amazingly well. I am kind of surprised how powerful they really are. Now, I have when the humidity was higher because one uh, emitter is actually a negative and the other is positive. I have act, I've got them about as close together as, as probably shouldn't really have them that close because on occasion if the humidity is higher, well, I had it arc over once. It'll, give a class 3 discharge between the two emitters, but it only happened one time since I've had this running in this configuration, and uh, when I had it on the test stand, I, I run static tests before I put them on the rotating system, and I could make it our class 3 discharge was more prevalent, but I learned how to avoid it. Because it's, if that happens, it just takes the thrust is interrupted. You need the ion emission. Class one, class two discharges are what's propelling it. Now you can't because of the daylight situation. You're not going to see any class two, but in a lights out dark, it's quite visible. And I like to run them in the dark because it also allows me to check my system for any type of ion leaks. And uh, that's a good thing so I can take whatever measures to minimize that or eliminate it, which I usually am able to do. This is the, I uh, wanted to get that on tape, so I'm going to shut this down. Now it'll coast down. It'll run quite a while. Uh, about 16 revolutions before it'll come to a stop. But uh, I just wanted to get that videotape to show you the variety different styles. And uh, I got some other in the works and I'll record them when I get them.